Hey folks, in today's video, I'm gonna give you some close-up looks of a very special graphics card. You're looking at here the Asus ROG Strix RTX 3090 024G gaming graphics card. That's right, this is the RTX 3090. Very high demand right now. The price is super inflated. But I wanted to give you some close-up views of the product because we just got this one in our shop. Now this is not gonna be a review of the performance or how it functions when it's in a gaming system. It's purely gonna be more physical views and measurements and how the product looks here physically in front of us. So I'm gonna to try to give you some nice close up views and we'll just start with the outside here and tilt it upright so you can get a better idea of what the card looks like. So of course you can see the, the three cooling fans across the front there and you can see how it has an ROG in the middle one, and then the Asus, um, I think it's the Republic of Gaming logo is what that is. They're on either side. And then it does have a material, let's see if I can turn it at an angle so you can see it a little bit better, kind of an accent here, this almost gunmetal color uh, that runs around the fans in a different artistic pattern there. And behind that is a more of a, just a black matte finished plastic here. You've got some ridges going across in between and then just some plain black kind of angled accents there. So a very, very interesting design to look at there for sure. And then even the, the little screws here holding on this kind of top bezel are kind of a brushed gunmetal finish. And that is the, it looks like a Torx uh, type, type screw there. All right, so that's kind of on the front side there. Let me come a little bit closer here and see if it focuses in fine. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So you can got to kind of get a better idea on the corner on the edge here. I believe this might be the patent number. I could be mistaken there. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong, but I think this might be the patent number. And of course you can see it says game on right there on the corner. And let's see what else. You've got ROG Strix up there at the top. And that's about it on this, this top side of the graphics card. Let's kind of go over here to the side and get a really good idea of the, the cooling fins there. And you can just see just how tall they are. And basically there's a double, uh, double tube running through them kind of stacked there for cooling. So you can really get a good idea there. And the fins are very well laid out, you can see. And that's about most of what's going on here on the side. They do give you this small little cover to cover the actual connector there. And I'll just carefully show you what that looks like. Nothing out of the ordinary, but they do give you that little cover to protect it. And then just directly above that is a barcode. And it just basically relists the, the name of the product there. So I'm not sure if you can see that in the video. I'm going to try to hold it real still. But it basically has the ROG Strix RTX 3090 024G Gaming and then has a couple other numbers and letters after that as well. So that's that part there on the side. We'll kind of rotate around to the Exterior part that you're going to see when it's mounted in your gaming machine. So of course it's a double, uh, double port, double expansion uh, port gaming uh, graphics card, and then you can see you've got your two HDMI ports right there, and they have these very very nice dust covers. A lot of the ones that we get in are kind of shallow, but these are very they go very deep in there. You can see for the HDMI and the display port as well. So you've got two HDMI. Then three of the display port, and I'll just pull one out so you can get a better idea what that looks like. So again, very nice and deep to protect it from dust and other particles from getting in there when you're not using it. And you can really get a good idea looking in here through the grates of how those cooling tubes are shaped. And so there's actually, let's see, is it five or six looking in there? It's kind of hard to tell. There's three on the left and I think just two on the right. So five, looks like five cooling tubes. You can see there's three on this side and then two on that side running through all the fins there. I believe that's right, but let me double check on this side. Let's see, that's where they terminate. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I believe it's just five. It's kind of hard to see in there, but 
those are the cooling tubes in there and of course nice big grates so you can get all that airflow moving in and out of there and that's pretty much it on this side this is stainless steel 304 stainless steel so super high quality metal there on the outside wouldn't expect anything less let me flip it around this side so you can get a better idea of what's going on here so you got the other sides of the fins and then you've got another rog logo there and then the g-force rtx at the bottom there let me flip it so it's the right side up here there we go and then you've got some connectors here so you've got you've got a total of three four pin connectors i'm sorry eight pin connectors that is they're double stacked so you've got those right there and then here you've got this little toggle switch Let's see if i can bring that closer and focus there we go so this one's got p mode and q mode a little toggle switch right there and then it also has the terminals right here that you can see as well all right on the bottom side i'm going to call this the bottom of the graphics card pull it back so you can see the full frame of it you've got a different screw so remember on the top we were looking at the uh, torx screws and then here on the bottom we've got mainly phillips heads except for you can see along this bezel here there's still torque screws and then they transition to some regular phillips head screws here quite a few different sizes you've got some bigger ones here you've got some medium sized going around the perimeter and then even smaller phillips heads going around there so that's kind of interesting why they chose some different Different screws there it could be the combination of Asus and uh, NVIDIA and just, you know, the combination of the two manufacturers coming together here to bring this to us. But this is what the bottom looks like. You can see clearly the graphics chipset, the underside of it right there and what that looks like. And there is, it looks like a tamper sticker on this one here, I suppose, for the warranty purposes so they can tell if somebody's tampered with the, the card and taken it apart. All right, so that's what that is. And then you've got another label here with the serial number and again, the full model number of the, the card listed. And then on this right side, you do have another view into the fins here. So this is great for cooling, letting some of the air flow through there. And you can see those tubes running through the fins as well. And then you've got a little bit of a, a wire, a flat wire running there from the, from the chipset. All right, so that is that side. I think we have covered all the different sides now. Look at this one one more time and kind of hold it still in case you didn't catch what that looks like. All right, so let me give you some measurements. You know, you can look those up on the manufacturer's website, but sometimes in real life, the measurements are just a little bit different depending on what they based off of. So first one I'm gonna do is from the mounting plate uh for, for the full width of the card so depending on if you've got clearance issues and you're wondering how long it is hopefully you can see that but it is just over 12 and a half i'm going to say it is right on 12 and 5 8 to the the plastic right here on the bezel 12 and 5 8 so that is from the mounting plate here where the expansion uh, plate goes to the end of the bezel here and it's kind of angled so i'm looking past the actual part that sticks out the furthest here so 12 and 5 8 and i'll turn the camera so it kind of lines up better to what it looks like in real life so you can see that okay so that's that measurement there and then if you're looking at just the height of the card so i'll give a couple different ones i've got it laying on a flat surface right now so as far as just the height to the tallest portion it looks like the tallest portion is right about here i believe or here that part seems to stick up the highest. And that's gonna be two, and it's just over two and a quarter. So I'm gonna say two and five sixteenths of an inch tall. And that's with it resting on this flat surface here. So from the actual connector where it connects to the computer, if you're looking for that measurement, I'll go from here all the way up to this highest point right here. And that is just over two. So I'm gonna say two and, two and a sixteenth on the height there, okay? Then we'll spin it around to this backside here. And so again, it's angled here on the corners. So I'm gonna go to the widest part here 
and just put my finger there to line it up. And then on this section here, it looks to be right at about five inches. Let me check again what up here. Go upside down to make sure I'm doing this right. Yeah, it looks like right on five inches across here. And that's the widest part of the, the plastic bezel here from, from side to side. Okay, so that's that measurement. It's gonna be the same on this side as far as the height goes. This section here appears to be the tallest. And actually, you know what? It is, I think about a 16th of an inch taller on this side. So actually the casing might be ever so slightly taller on this side. I'm looking at, uh, I think I said two and five sixteenths over there. And now I'm looking at uh, two and three eighths. Yeah, so it might be about a 16 inch taller on this side here, right at that at that uh, tallest point, okay? All right, let's see, any other measurements on this side that folks might be interested in? Uh, as far as the connectors, you know, where they fall here, I'll just put the ruler, line it up with the side, and if you need to pause the, the video and look here, I mean, they're centered up right about, it starts right about two inches and ends about four and a half there where this little bank of connectors is here. All right, so that's that section there. And then we'll flip it around to the, the back side that's visible when it's mounted. And I'm gonna flip this upside down again so I can get a good measurement. So from your mounting plate here, from the L part that locks into your chassis on the uh, computer, and then going out to this outside part of the bezel, you're looking at, I believe that is right at, oh, it looks like right just under one and three eighths. So it's probably gonna be, Probably about yeah, one and five sixteenths again. Probably right there, one and five sixteenths, uh, coming from that that uh, bezel there to the to the L bracket. All right, and then this is going to be standard for any any uh, expansion plate that mounts in a in a chassis. That's a standard. But if you're curious, this one is four and uh, three fourths, it's just under four and three fourths. So it might even be 11 sixteenths, four and uh, 11 sixteenths there across. And then of course it is a double high. So if you're looking for the measurement of the plate itself, let me line that up. And that one is gonna be one and it looks like nine sixteenths. It's just over one and a half inches. So one and nine sixteenths, that's the metal plate itself. And then if you're wondering what, how much trim sticks out above here, as far as clearance that you need, you know, most of the time you're gonna be mounting this probably in your top, uh, in your, uh, one of your higher um, slats. And so this is what's gonna be hanging down, if you can imagine it, because right now it's, it's flipped. You know, most of the time you're gonna have it in your computer uh, just like this here. And so if you're wondering how much sticks down here, get you that measurement real quick. That is, all right, so it is just over a half inch, a sixteenth over, so it's gonna be nine sixteenths of an inch. All right, nine sixteenths of an inch tall there. That's how much it hangs down. Okay, so I think that's probably most of the measurements there. You know, uh, this measurement's gonna be the same here for where the, the connector is that connects to your motherboard. I mean, that's gonna be standardized, but if uh, you're curious about that and you wanna pause the video, I'll just hold it up here for you real quick so you can uh, get any of those measurements that you need. But I believe that is all the measurements that folks would be interested on this particular card there. And so I'll pan around uh, as I close out the video here to give you some more close up views. But for those who don't know, J Brokers is a risk free secondhand marketplace and we buy all sorts of gadgets and guitars and cameras and collectibles. And so items just like this, graphics card here. And so if you are in the market to sell something or buy something, then definitely check us out. We're a great fit for folks that don't want to deal, you know, with the risks and the hassle of selling something privately on Facebook or Craigslist or even eBay. And there are people that don't want to deal with the risk and the, you know, headache of maybe getting a fraudulent payment or 
uh, uh, just a buyer that's a pain to deal with, right? And so we're kind of like a buffer, a middleman that we come along and pay you a lump sum of cash up front, and then it's up to us to turn around and sell the product in our store later on. And so it's a great fit for folks that don't want to deal with the risk and hassle. They're maybe willing to take a little bit less for their item because naturally we have to make a profit on it, but they appreciate that because of the convenience and the safety and not having any risk. So two things that our customers appreciate most about J Brokers is that we always pay the agreed upon amount for the agreed upon item. So there's no bait and switch gimmicks ever. We don't like them, nobody does, and so we don't do it. And then secondly, we always pay our customers on the next business day after receipt, rain or shine. Doesn't matter what's going on in the world. That's been our pledge for over 20 years and it's still the same today. So if you're looking to sell something, definitely check us out. jbrokers.com. That's J-A-Y brokers.com. Thanks for watching.